Right, so here we're going to show on uh, this is a 2012 Dodge Charger police pursuit vehicle. Now, normally when you get these, the center console has been fucking ripped out or in shambles. If you're lucky enough to get one that uh, the reseller or the auctioneer has put a nice console in and wired everything up correctly. I have here a uh, stock console from a, uh, a regular Dodge Charger. That, uh, that you would buy at a dealer and I'm going to show you how to solve the dilemma of how to plug in your wonderful musics to listen to on the radio. Now basically you have two inputs that's the auxiliary and the USB. Now where does this plug into? Well on this console we have this um, giant multi-pin connector on the end of the side here and I have absolutely no idea where that goes to. I haven't found the other end to it and I assume that needs to go in somewhere over here, and that looks to me to be for the little LED lighting around um, around the, the bezeling of the cup holders, and to power the 12 volt socket here, the lighting around the 12 volt socket, and the same thing for the one on the rear, just on the back there. So that seems to be about what those connections are for. Now, lucky for us, the USB input for, I mean, your iPhone and charging your other devices. It'll only, it'll only interface with an iPhone. That's about it. Um, this is a 2012 charger. I don't think any of the stuff has been updated. This It's like the newer version of the um, the system. And I have iPhone 4 and uh, iPhone 5 was plugged in here with iOS 7, 8, and 9, I'm pretty sure. And they've all seemed to, um, they've all seemed to work pretty good. Sometimes it, it has a little trouble finding the phone and it takes a while to load up your your playlists and whatnot, but um, I mean it, it's worked. So I don't have an iPhone, so I need to use this auxiliary input. Now that appears to plug in to this wire over here. It's like a um, what is that? It's a four-pin connector, and that goes into this wiring harness, which clips into this guy over here. Now they've cut something here. I don't know what the hell was there, and this seems to be some kind of a yaw sensor or something, and. Um, that goes into this wiring harness over here. This, I have no idea what that is. It's not connected to anything. And from the car, I had this guy that was just was just hanging just like that. But interestingly enough, from the console, I have both of these plugs. So this guy goes into here, and then I think it roots everything to this one big guy over here. So I'm not even sure if my car has this or not. But um, what I did is I had this wire, which was dangling, and I plugged them into here. So that tells me if you wanted to wire this yourself, um, I'm pretty sure two of these would be like uh, audio left and right and then maybe for the microphone or something. And I guess that's all there is to it. So in theory, you probably just could chop this off and then solder on your own little uh, dingleberry there if you didn't have it. Now for the USB, it's uh, quite a, a easy. It's basically just a, mi a mini USB plug right over here. And uh, you can get... I guess for two bucks on eBay or something from China, a little female uh, USB to mini USB, and that will just plug right into there, and uh, that should do that. So that's all it really is. And you'll see coming from the console is basically just that, a mini USB. And then in the back of the radio, same thing. It's just a mini USB, so it's nice to see that they've kept that there. It has a little proprietary clip thing, but uh, a mini USB will fit in there fine. So nice that they didn't... Uh, fuck with that too much. I also have this big jumbotron coming from this uh, module over here. It appears to be a VSIM module or something. No idea what that does. It was just hidden uh, behind the console, so or the glove box. So they, they undid that. And My thinking was that it, it went to uh, that big connector in here, but it's not because they're both male connectors. So that sucks. Uh, I still haven't pulled it apart too much. Maybe I'll find the other end of this thing or where this plugs into. I have no idea. Like I said, this was from a stock uh, a stock Dodge Charger. It could have been a 300, Chrysler 300. But uh, to me, it looks like it came from a Charger. Very nice console. It's all complete. The only thing it doesn't have is the um, inserts that go here for where your gear shifter would be because we have a column mount shifter. And then there's like a little pocket over there for uh, your phone or wallet or whatever. I do have the two side panels that go here, which nicely trim it all up so everything looks neat and clean. The only thing that I'm going to do is make a custom metal panel that's going to go over here and close this off, 
and then I'll be able to uh, slot in some radios and maybe a controller or something like that so it'll, it'll look all nice but uh, other than that that's pretty much how you do it any of you guys out there know what these uh, connectors are for or have any wiring diagrams or stuff that would be uh, greatly appreciated just um, send me a message leave a comment contact me somehow and uh, I would love to to speak with you about that so we'll try and show the underside here of how everything wires up not sure if this will be helpful to anyone to power the uh, the 12 volt power plugs whoops we just turned the air on didn't we to power the 12 volt power plugs I think I, I, that's I mean that's a no-brainer you just splice into uh, the 12 volt source um, I think the uh, little LED trim parts have their own uh, their own power supplying because this guy lights up fine so that's uh, that's about all there is to it like I said any of you guys out there know more about these especially the police cars and how they wire everything up give me a shout cheers